I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. Mac, obviously, Richard Mackowitz. Uh, I am the, the host and producer of a show, a little show on Discovery Channel and the Military Channel called Future Weapons. I don't know if any of you have seen it. Right. <laughs> I heard there were some gun lovers in the audience, so, <laughs> so I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, I, I, I describe the job, I have the coolest guy job ever. It's, there isn't a little boy in the world that wouldn't want to have this job. I get to go around the world, I shoot big guns, I fly an incredible aircraft, and I blow things up for a living. <laughs> so I feel like I've been very blessed in my whole life. But before that, I was a US Navy SEAL. Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. I can't tell you how much that means to me. And, uh, you know, I, I, I feel really privileged to have served the United States. Uh, and uh, I, I, I was given so much more uh, in that experience than I ever, uh, you know, than I ever gave. You know what I'm saying? I, I got so much out of that. Uh, the leadership training, the, the, I, I was a sniper, I was a hand-to-hand -hand combat instructor, I taught land mountain nautical warfare. Uh, I had pretty much done the full loop in SEAL team and uh, had the opportunity to work with these guys uh, and getting them ready to go out into some serious stuff. I just want to say that half of my vocabulary has been taken away from me so for this talk. <laughs> so, if anybody's seen the Raiders, you understand that half of my vocabulary is gone. If you see the Cincinnati Bengal thing that we do, ha again, really half my vocabulary is gone here. And I, but, but I think that I can deliver something of value to you in this short time that we have together, and I'd really like that opportunity. Because I've been able to uh, do some really cool things with my life and uh, to participate in that. And I've had to do those things. I've had to work with people and, and get something. Uh, I have had to overcome real strong opposition sometimes in order to get some things done. And so I understand what it's like to start with nothing and rebuild from nothing. I understand what it's like to do a really difficult job that sounds really sexy, but it's actually cold, wet, miserable, and you can get killed at the end of the day. <laughs> Okay? So I understand how to show up under extreme situations, difficult situations, and to get things done. And I'd like to talk to you about what it takes to do that. But before I go there, I want to acknowledge you guys. Listen, you are United Reynolds. There's no doubt about it. And when I talk to anybody, it's really about what you guys do and the people that work for you guys that make this thing work. You're the largest company in the world doing what you do. And that doesn't happen by accident. Uh, it doesn't happen by accident. There's a lot of people working really hard to make something get done. And I like that. I am, I'm all about results. All I care about is getting something done at the end of the day. Because I have no idea what's going to happen after this little adventure called my life. And I really want to do everything I can to the very best of my ability until the last moment, the last second I'm here on this planet. So I really appreciate what it's like for you guys to show up every day, make things happen, get the result, and actually build a company now that is the leader in the world. I mean, you guys are the, the biggest company in the world at what you do. And you're only really in the United States and Canada, which is crazy. Okay? But it wouldn't happen without you individuals and the people that work for you. It doesn't just happen in a boardroom. And it doesn't just happen in a corporate structure. People have to get out there. Your business is all about service, which means connecting to your clients, serving them, bringing them the best stuff that you can do every day, and overcoming all the hurdles and challenges that you have to do on a day-to-day, minute-to-minute basis. So I genuinely, genuinely respect what you do and how hard it is, especially with everything that, you know, that happened last year. Last year was a tough year for a lot of people, and I imagine it was a very, very tough for you, for you guys personally. Yet you guys still found a way to still be number one doing what you do. Some of you had to make incredibly, incredibly difficult decisions, difficult choices, and to do a difficult job. Yet your company still found a way to give uh, to people and to help people. Things like the extreme home makeover. It may sound simple. It may sound kind of cliche, oh, it's an advertising, whatever. But in the end, you're really fundamentally helping people change their lives by giving them something. And what you guys provide is an opportunity for people to create things, to bring things into existence that didn't exist before. I think that's really special. I think it's really cool. 
And so I just really hope you understand when I say this acknowledgement, I really, really genuinely appreciate how hard you work, what it takes to show up, and the way you guys do your job. Because being one, number one is not an easy thing. And more importantly, staying number one is even harder. Especially with the challenges looking forward. It's not, we're not all the way through that eye of that needle right now. You know? And you're going to have to show up and bring everything you've got to the thing that you want. The one thing I think I bring to the table is I know what that's like. And I'd like to speak to that with you today. But before I do, I want to make sure, and I'm pretty sure you guys are, but I want to make sure you're on board for me to talk to you for the next half hour about some of the things, the principles that help me accomplish a, lottery, a lot of lottery ticket items in my life. So if I could, by a show of hands, if I could have a half hour of your time to do something where I can serve you and bring you something special in that half hour, could you be so kind as to raise your hands for me so I can see that you guys are on board to give me a half hour where I can actually make a difference with you, bring you something of value in that half hour? Yes? No? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate that. I am an interaction guy, if you can only, if you, as you guess right now. So I'm going to require some feedback back and forth from you. We're going to do this thing real quick. We're going to hammer through this stuff really quick because I know there's other things you want to do today, okay? Probably have a few drinks, relax a little bit, do your stuff, okay? But I also know you're here to get some serious business done, all right? One of the jokes when I asked, uh, I asked a gentleman, uh, a couple of you guys were in a Starbucks, and I asked you, well, wh why are you guys here? And he was joking, but he said, because they made us come here. <laughs> okay. you know? Which is great, because that, 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 on some level, that's, on some level, that's true, right? On some level, that's true. But on the other level, he understood, and the rest of the group that I was talking to, they understood. There was an opportunity here to share information, to get better at what you do, to learn something from maybe somebody else's mistake. So you have an opportunity over the next couple days to really mine this thing. The one thing that I've done in my life is I mine, and all I'm looking for is gold. Find the one, the two, three things that really put me in a great position to be successful. And I'd like to share some of those things that have worked for me with you today. And you've already given me permission to do that, and you're going to give me permission for your, your 30 minutes. So here I go, all right? People ask me all the time, what's it like being a SEAL? What does it take to be a SEAL? And it's a tough question. You know, how do you get there? What does it take? I don't... Yeah, at first you go, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Somehow I made it. And when I say somehow I made it, I, I'm like, I was 155 pounds, 6 foot, 155 pounds. There was no one ever willing to give me a shot to think that I could make it through being a SEAL. I was too small, too scrawny, too skinny. There's just no way. I wasn't big enough. I wasn't muscly enough. You know? You know, when I went to be a sniper, I was told, you know, ah, oh, you're blind, dude. <laughs> what are you going to do to be a sniper? Okay? Are you kidding? And it, I was the only guy who had to qualify in SEAL team to go to sniper training because I was pretty blind, okay? But I found a way to overcome that, okay? But I used the same thing to overcome that. As far as getting a book, man, people said I was illiterate. I now have a best-selling book published in four languages. I got it doing the same thing that I'm going to show you with you. I made it my mission to get a TV show, and I got it on the Discovery Channel and the Military Channel. And the show has been seen by 50 million people worldwide. And I got it doing the same thing. Now I have a development deal at Spike for multiple shows. <laughs> and I got it doing the same thing I'm going to share with you today. Okay? Because whatever you want, no matter what it is you want in life, it all comes down to your ability to focus. Whatever it is you want, whatever it is, it all comes down to your ability to focus. The problem is, no one ever really teaches us how to focus other than to say, yeah, exactly. And we're supposed to understand exactly what that means, and maybe for the most part, we get the gist of what that means. But the problem is that focus is like a laser beam. Move a little to the left or right, right? Add a little fog or some distance. And the laser either misses the target completely or diffuses to such an extent that it acts like a poor flashlight. If focus is where our mind, body, and spirit converges, then doubt, second guessing, hesitation, the unknown, stress, pressure, personal baggage, 
corporate culture and fear are the obstacles that diminish the quality of our laser, that diminish the quality of us and what we are capable of being. Everything comes down to your ability to focus. But what is focus? And when I was trying to work with guys in SEAL Team and when I started doing consulting on the outside, I wanted to create a very clean way of being able to describe and articulate what focus means. Focus is when clarity, concentration, and action converge to create a specific result in the present. Focus is when clarity, concentration, and action converge to create a specific result in the present.